Cytomegalovirus is the most common congenital infection. It is transmitted from the mother to the fetus. Its presentation can be learned by the simple mnemonic DELETE CMV, sensory neural deafness, hepatospinomegaly, thrombocytopenia, chorioretinitis, microcephaly, and periventricular calcification. Toxoplasma is an important differential diagnosis, but toxoplasma will present with diffuse calcification along with hydrocephalus. 10 days after infection, IgM antibodies develop and they persist for 4 to 6 weeks. 2 weeks after infection, IgG antibodies bodies develop and they persist lifelong. Now IgG antibodies which have just formed will bind less strongly with the virus. The strength with which any antibody binds with the antigen is known as avidity. So at this point IgG will have low avidity denoting that it's a recent infection and patient is highly infectious. Three months post infection IgG will have high avidity denoting that it's a past infection and we need not worry much. After this concept, let's come to the diagnosis. So first, we will get the CMV IgM done. If it comes out to be positive, we'll go with CMV IgG avidity. If it is low avidity, denoting that it's a recent infection, we will check for presence of infection in the fetus by amniocentesis. If it is positive, we will follow up the fetus with serial ultrasound and MRI break. Depending on the number of abnormalities seen on the ultrasound, disease is divided into mild, moderate and severe. Remember, it is only the severe disease where we ask the patient for termination of pregnancy, not in the mild and the moderate one. Treatment of the neonate is done by gancyclovir or valgancyclovir given for 6 months.